Disconnect the negative terminal on the battery. Use an eight millimeter wrench. Slide that off and out of the way. Now, if you have a cover on here, you want to take that cover off. Normally there's an eight millimeter bolt and then pull this cover off here, off of the fuel line. This little cap. And you want to take a rag and a straight blade screwdriver. You just want to push on this right here, but if you use a rag, then the fuel won't spray. Just relieve the pressure. And that's good. There's not much pressure in this system, but just like that. You put the cap back on. In the back of the tank, we're just going to take this line off right here. You just squeeze this connector and twist it back and forth a little bit. Oh, got a little fuel out of there. But you squeeze that, and that comes out. Now I want to take this connector off right here. That goes to the vent canister. You can either squeeze it with your fingers or just use some pliers. And just try to twist it off. Sometimes you got to get underneath there. You'd use a pick also. There we go. Slide that one off. And then right above it. There we go. Now I want to remove the filler neck hose. Use an eight millimeter socket or you can use a straight blade screwdriver. Loosen up this worm clamp. All right. Now I'm going to use a pick. Just get underneath here. Just try to loosen this up, just twist it. You might not be able to pop this off until we start lowering the tank down, which is okay. You just want to make sure it's loose. And that's loose. That's good. Now I'm going to use a transmission jack to support the fuel tank. It has a special adapter just for fuel tanks. Now we're going to take this strap down. We're going to take this bolt out. I'm going to use a 15 millimeter socket. You want to make sure you do this by hand because if you use an impact gun, then you're going to wreck the nut on the top. Loosen this up because it is a J nut. And it'll just break. Take that bolt out and then slide the strap down. Then you can slide it out up here, slide it down. Now under normal circumstances, you could just take and do the same on this side. Take the strap out just like that. Use a hand tool. Um, our J nut has broken on the top. So what we can do is take a 15 millimeter wrench. Now we did take the wheel off and we supported the rear axle to make this arm go up a little bit. And with the wrench in there, I can loosen up the bolt, hold the nut. Take that bolt out and slide the strap down. Same as the other one, just lift it up, pull it out of that slot. Now I can lower the back of the fuel tank down a little bit. Just try to pry this hose off. Just keep in mind you want as little fuel in the tank as possible. So you might have to siphon some of the fuel out. off. Alright, now we want to disconnect the lines on the front of the tank. Now this is the EVAP vapor line. You can just push on these two tabs and disconnect the connector. It's not easy to see, but the fuel pressure line goes right over this cross member right here and on the back side. You kind of got a feel for it. And I'm going to have to remove that clip. This is the clip that I had to lift up. Now I'm going to take a rag, just so it doesn't spray everywhere, just wrap it around, and then disconnect it. And there it is disconnected, just like that. So you need to make sure there's not a lot of gas in here. And you're going to tip the tank down in the back. Once this, the filler gets past the rear differential, then we can back the tank up a little more. It's looking good. 
That looks good. Looks good. Just slide the tank back a little bit. And lower it down some more. And we need to disconnect the electrical connector before we go any further. And disconnect this connector right here. Pull the tab. And then this connector has a little lock on it. Slide back on the lock. And slide that out. can lower the tank all the way. All right, so the top of the tank has a lot of um, dirt and debris and stuff, so I'm just going to take a blow grunt, just blow it off. Now we want to take these connectors off. Just under here, there's a lock tab. You just push on the two sides and then slide that up. Wiggle the line off. There's a little bit of fuel coming out. Use a rag, wipe that up, and push on the little lock tab right here. Slide this line off, and this line. Just squeeze these two tabs and wiggle this off, just like that. You can use a special tool to take this lock ring off, or if you have a brass punch. You want to use brass so that you don't get any sparks and hit it with a hammer. Just try to loosen it up without ruining the tank. Just be careful. And slide that ring off. And just grab the pump. and slide it up. This hose needs to be disconnected right here. So you just gotta push on the tabs and slide it off just like that. And same with this one right here. Push on those two tabs, slide that off. This hose should slide out. some of the fuel drain. And you can slide that out and just have a bucket nearby, put it in the bucket. All right, so I clean this up with a rag and I'm just gonna put the new seal on there, get that ready. And take the new fuel pump, take a level sensor, just line this up and just carefully push this down. Lock it in place, just like that. Slide the level sensor in first. Slide the tank in position. Slide the pump in position, I mean. So we need to transfer this to the new pump. Just use a pick, just get behind these little tabs and slide that off. This can go right here, lock it in place. And grab the hose. Lock that in place. And grab the other hose. Might be easier to use a pick to grab the hose. Just like that. And just slide that in position. Lock it in place. Make sure the seal's all lined up. And take the lock ring. Just go on the front of this. Just raise this up a little bit. That's good. Get the ring lined up. And take my brass punch. 
and lock it down. All right, that lock tabs all the way down. Just make sure that looks good. And we can take these protectors off. And reconnect the hoses. And lock that in place. And do the same with this one and this one. Once that one's all the way down, push down on the lock. All right, now I'm gonna reposition the tank back in. Just make sure it's pretty far back so you get underneath that cross member first. And remember, once we get close, we're gonna connect the fuel pump. And we're gonna get up a little more. All right, now connect that fuel pressure sensor. Make sure it locks in place. That's good. Pretty good. Remember, on this back side, that you want to get this hose lined up. All right, that's good. All right, you can come to the front. You get this vapor line hooked up, lock it in place. And the fuel line, this one's kind of hard to see. Now these straps are different. The one with the shorter part in the back goes in the back right here. Line that up there and then put the other one in the front side. And take the bolts, get the bolts lined up. And tighten these up. And torque this bolt to 30 foot pounds. Then we're gonna do the same on the other one. At this point, we can lower the transmission jack. Then we're gonna hook these lines up. Line that one up, lock it in place. This lower EVAP line. Lock that in place, and then this line right here. Get that locked in. That's good. And we can tight, tighten up this worm clamp. And just snug it up, not too tight. This is plastic, just make sure it doesn't, it's not loose. And that's pretty good. All right. Connect the negative battery cable and snug it down, make sure it's tight. Now, before you go to start the vehicle, just take the key, just turn it into the on position, wait three seconds, turn it off, just do it again about two or three times. And that's just priming the fuel up. I'll do it one more time. And then I should be able to start the vehicle. Good to go.